The Labor Department reports the U.S. added 272,000 jobs in the month of May, and that figure far exceeded economists' predictions, who expected the labor market to add 180,000 jobs last month. The unemployment rate rose slightly from to 4 percent from 3.9 percent in April. CBS News senior business and technology correspondent Jolene Kent is in Los Angeles for more on today's data. So the Fed, they're going to meet early next week and issue a decision on interest rates. Did today's numbers further support the school of thought that rates won't likely be cut until the fall at the earliest? You can bet that the Federal Reserve is looking at every piece of data of this jobs report very closely, beyond just the headline numbers, taking a look at important things like labor force participation rate, in addition to things like the 272,000 jobs that were added. And so as we look ahead to the Federal Reserve meeting next week, uh, most economists do not believe that this will change the feeling that rates will remain unchanged at that meeting on Wednesday afternoon. We also expect to get inflation, consumer prices to come out next Wednesday morning. But looking at what has happened here, this has completely smashed all of Wall Street's, Wall Street's expectations. So you have a very strong labor market. And so that could lead the Fed to say, OK, we're just going to continue to hold. We're looking for more meaningful dropping in CPI and that inflation number, which we really haven't got much of over the past couple of months. So we'll see what happens. You know, I don't have a crystal ball, but I will say that what the economists are telling me and what they're saying is that this is a very strong strong jobs report, but it's unlikely to affect what is going to be happening. But we did see some encouraging news for wage earners. You could see an upward tick of 0.4 percent when it comes to wage growth. Wage growth continues to outpace inflation. We like to see that. But this is a very strong jobs report when it comes to the headline number, Lindsay. Let's talk about the unemployment rate. It reached 4 percent for the first time since January of 2022. So if we're adding this many jobs, why are we seeing an uptick in unemployment? This is a very small uptick in unemployment. We went from 3.9% in April to 4.0% uh, this past May. And so what we see here is a continuing to be a labor market with a lot of fire, a lot of gas. You know, we thought that there would be a meaningful downtick, a cooling off in jobs perhaps today. But that is not at all what we got. In fact, it moved in the exact opposite direction. So it'll be interesting to see how things shake out as we go into the summer. But right now, this is a strong jobs report. 4% is indeed a tick up, but it remains uh, relatively low considering where we are and how, how people are feeling about the economy versus where we actually are when it comes to the data. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Before we let you go, let's talk about Keith Gill, the GameStop <laughs> frenzy. He's back on YouTube. What does this mean? Yeah. It means that Keith Gill still has an impact on GameStop stock, and a lot of people on Reddit are still paying attention to what he has to say. I've been following the story the past couple of weeks. It's been very volatile. We've seen a big up, a big down, and a bunch of movement in between. So, you know, it means that people still care, and they're invested in these stocks. GameStop, not the only one. Uh, and we'll have to watch what Keith Gill does and, and how people follow along or don't. Okay, Jolene Kent, thank you. Thanks.